working with the partners in the dam removal project on the Mill River in Taunton and we alerted those partners to the Cotley River Dam project and we are working with the state and the federal government to um, remove this dam under their dam removal program. There's a little nostalgia for old buildings and old structures, but not so much with this one because it had been derelict for so long. River restoration is about restoring natural processes. Dam removal has a lot of different connections to the idea of resilience. I think that communities and rivers are, are deeply intertwined, and when our rivers are degraded, our communities are degraded as well. The cost of repairing the dam and maintaining the dam was really for a pond that wasn't being used for recreation or any other benefit was really not necessary. So removal was the best opportunity. Everything benefits from increased connectivity. So by giving the river more room to operate naturally as a river, you reduce the impacts to people. We've been working to reduce flood risk in communities, really addressing public safety and other community goals. So we've been able to show that dam removal is a great option for solving a lot of problems and creating new opportunities. This will open up what I understand to be about 10 miles of river to herring and other local fish that have been denied the access because of the dam. Taunton actually had the nickname Herring Town because the fishery was really important to the community and to the economy, and that was lost with the dams. Starting from a place of dam removal being impossible, people saying there are 3,000, there's nothing we can change. When I was hired in 2001, no dams had been removed in Massachusetts, and 17 years later, we've taken out 60. To see the first fish come back, to see the transformation that we've been able to, to bring about in this watershed is so exciting. 